The FAT controller had brought two diesel engines to the Northwestern Railway to help with the heavy workload. However, the two diesel engines had been to Soda before, those two being D4711, who came to Soda during Stephanie's first visit to the Northwestern Railway, and got a bowler hat stuck in his air intake. Because of this, everyone called him Bowler and the other being D199 who came to Soda on trial with D7101 who you may now know as Bear but he was sent back after he broke down on a level crossing with a train of fuel tankers Hello D7101, long time no see! But I don't go by the name anymore, it's Bear now Hello Duck, remember me? What are you doing back here? We came back to help with the workload on the main line. Maybe we will do such a good job that he will finally send you all off as scrap and bring in more diesels to replace you. Pa, I'd like to see you try. Oh, Bowler, will you cut that out? You've been going on about this on the way here for crying out loud. Later that day, Henry was waiting at Lower Timber Station with a suburban passenger train when D199 pulled up with a goods train that was bound to Vickers Tower. Well, if it isn't old reliable, what are you doing back here anyway? It's because your controller has decided to give me a second chance, and plus, I've changed my ways a lot since the last time I was here. Are you sure you have changed? Yes. While working on a heritage railway in the Midlands, I started to see that steam engines aren't so bad after all. Henry was still a little skeptical about it. That night, he told the other engines about it. What do you mean by that? Because he told me that he started to see that engines aren't too bad after all. But I am not sure if he is true or not. Well, maybe he felt sorry for them when most of them were taken away to be scrapped, which made him feel bad for what he said about us spoiling their image. Richard does have a point there. True, but I'm still not sure if he has. We will have to wait and see then. But now we have to get some sleep now. The next morning, Edward had arranged D199's coaches for him. Thanks for arranging my coaches, Edwin. Um, you're welcome, I guess. The people got in the coaches, and D199 rolled away. Maybe has changed it after all. As he rolled down the line, he kept thinking about how doubtful Henry was that he had changed. How can I prove to him that 
Suddenly, he found himself going slower, and slower, and slower. What happened? We've run out of fuel. We must have forgot to fill up when we left. Darn. We were going so nicely, too. Had I wasn't too focused on what I would say to Henry when we next met about the fact that I had indeed changed, then I wouldn't have gotten myself into this mess. Broken down again, Spam Ken? What are you going to do now? Moan for a fitter? Completely the opposite. I forgot to fill up on more fuel, so could you please help me to the next station? Alright. So Henry was buffered up to D199, and they set off. Here we are! The passengers thanked and praised Henry for helping them get to the station. After D199 was uncoupled so that he could be refueled, he spoke to Henry. Thank you for helping me, Henry. And I am sorry for what I said to you and the other engines about steam engines spoiling our image all those years ago. No, I am sorry for doubting you. Edwin did tell me you thanked him for getting his coaches ready. You really are a changed diesel after all. Well, all is forgiven. And from that day onwards, Henry and Span can hood being great friends. But as for Bowler, that is a story for next time.